Shalom. <clears throat> First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Akakadash. Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the uh, Akiyam scattered the four winds of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And I say shalom to the Akiyam out there. And this is a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring out of this recent news article. And this is from uh, CNBC.com, published by Sarah Mim, Lisa Kalea Hen, and Hung Hai Kang Young Kim from cnbc.com updated september the 27 2023 at 507 p.m eastern time and it reads the dow jones closed lower wednesday as stocks comeback attempt fails it says the dow jones industrial average fell wednesday building on the steps lost from the previous session as the uptick in treasury yield and oil prices Dented investor settlement. A 30 year uh, index fell 68.61 points or 0.20, landing at 33,550.27 earlier in the session, as it as was up as much as 112.77 points. And the SP 500 edged up. 0.2% to close 4,274.51, while the NASDAQ composite added 0.22% to end the session at 13,092.85. The benchmark yield treasury yield hit the highest since 2007. The two year treasury also climbed, meanwhile, the U.S. crude futures. Popped more than 3% to settle 93.68 per barrel. Energy was the best performing sector, rising 82.5. Notable gains, it says, uh, including Marathon Oil and the Devon Energy, both up more than 4%. Those moves come after the SP 500. On Tuesday, fell below the key 4,300 level for the first time since June. The Dow also posted its biggest one-day loss since March. Dropping more than 300 points below its 200-day move average for the first time since May. Stocks has come under pressure recently from rising rate and disappointing economic data. Inflation remains the biggest concern, said Greg Bosco, the CEO of XAXS Investment. Investors have been very anxious about not only the develop, elevating rate, but how they how that impact companies with the higher borrowing costs. September is a seasonal week month for stocks, and deeding the S&P 500 is down by 5% month to date, while the Dow Jones is down more than 3%. The, S the NASDAQ is logged over the three, losing more than 6% this month. Basin expect volatile could continue in the coming weeks, however, it expects to some Scrum buying opportunities later in October leading up to the year end. So yeah, but as of right now, you had the uh, markets had an early gain with the Dow Jones, even though the uh, Nasdaq Composite and the SP 500 gained good solid gains today. But the Dow Jones was uh, kind of lower today after a good solid gain. I believe it was down like 68 points, uh, 68 points. 68.67% uh, because at first it was up uh, 112% but it went down within the, the closing hours of the closing bell which is at 3 o'clock eastern time over there in the northeast with, uh, northeastern region of New York of the stocks exchange so as it says again the Dow Jones lower Wednesday as stock comeback attempts fail so with that, hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was out of fine of the reading of this uh, news article from CNBC.com as of Wednesday, September 27, 2023 at 5.07 p.m. Eastern Time.
published by Sever Mim and Lisa Kaya Hun and Hai Young Kim published by them of this recent news article so once again hopefully this lesson was edifying of this recent news article so with that I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Makarkadash Shalom to the uh, elders for Christian word truthfully and sincerity and Shalom to the uh, Akim scattered the four corners of the globe Christian word truthfully and sincerity as well too and until next time I will say Shalom